So uh, the, for the rain gear blanks, as you can see, you'd think that one would be thick and one would be thin, but they actually in production used one ring gear blank and then used a very crude cutter to quickly go through the top to bring them down to thickness. You can see how coarse that is. And this guy has the same sort of look on top of the teeth, right? That's just so they can cut it down quick, but the ID, OD, the surface that you're looking at right there with what bolts uh, uh, thread, those are all the same between both of these. Uh, you know, so that's your blank. Uh, the teeth on this are, are not quite as angular as on the 410. Um, you can see how this is your pressure, your pressure side. Well, that side right there is your pressure side. So the the pinion teeth come in at kind of like an angle and chew down on that, push it down. This is your backup side. So like when you put it in reverse, that's the side. It kind of wipes away. So obviously this is a, a better uh, at carrying load than this one here that's going to have a lot of deflection uh, forces, components, vectors, right? Uh, and this one here is, is got quite a lot of cut back on it. You can see it. It's, it's got more angle. You know, uh, oh, and the way they make these things is they take a fly cutter. Well, it's like a fly cutter and it's, it's, a, it's a disc with teeth on it and it's set up at an angle like this and it's also kicked up like this. So, and what that does is it allows the, a circular disc to come through there and cut that tooth without hanging up on the back side, right? So it's got to be kind of at an angle. And that's how you get that uh, that curve right there. And generally, you know, I guess nowadays we can make them fancier, but back in the old days, this was like a perfect uh, arc because it came off an arc, uh, a round disc. And uh, that's how that used to work back in the day. I was noticing this one here is actually quite rough on the inside. You can see the tool drag marks from when they machined the surface here. When they're done, they drug the tool back across as they retracted back to the home position. Uh -huh. I, I just surprised how ugly this one is. I mean, it's really quite rough. Look at those, look at that chatter. And then this is a, what, a 60, it's probably dated 66. And this one here is dated 1970. But look how clean this one is. Between 1966 and 70, man, they, they totally eliminated the tool drag marks and the chatter. This one's so much prettier. Anyway, oh, uh, one thing I wanted to mention about the rust. You see this 514? It's got, it's got that rust too. You know, and, and there's nothing great about that, but they don't make these ring gears anymore, so a lot of people are running them like this. You can see my 410s. They looked a lot like that when I started. You can see. But uh, you know, I just been driving them and they're polishing it up slowly. Uh, pinion looks, I mean, it looks like a mirror, but uh, these are polishing up slowly. And I think this one here will work the same way. I could be wrong, but uh, no guarantees, right? All right, that's it. That's your uh, ring gear comparison.